girl, pretty girl. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Oh, it's about to get creepy, this interview. Oh, God. <laughs> We're going to get right to it, baby. <laughs> let's get to it, baby. We rolling. Oh, God. Because it smells good in here, Jack. I, was, I smelled Trina's neck, too, real oh, quick. Oh, you, you did not. Gotta, what? Please, first thing I did. In like two seconds that you met her? I'm an animal. You get right to it, I baby. Can't. It's Ebro in the morning. <laughs> Laura Styles, Trina the Bat. Yes, yes, he is. First and foremost, you smell amazing. You look Thank amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you been in this game since 1998. Mm-hmm. My first record was with Trick. Yeah. 98. You look phenomenal. Thank you. You, you Thank look you. amazing. Thank you. Um. I want to say that your record with Tory Lanez, mm -hmm. I love that record. Thank you so much. Very unexpected. I didn't expect it. No? I didn't expect it. Yeah. I didn't. It was one of those records we just did. I had did a record with him before. It was a record that he gave me. Um, um, and so we went back in the studio this time, and he just came up with something that was just like the vibe. It was fun. It was entertaining. So we did it in one night. So dope. Yeah. Um, and also your record with Runner Jewels. I love that, yeah, too. Yeah, I'm You've been playing, yeah. I'm funny. I'm a big fan. I'm uh -huh. a big fan of Runner Jewels. Yeah, everybody likes that record. I thought it was a fun record. Do I have fun? So they reached out to you? Yeah, they reached out to, I think it was my my manager um, for me to do the record. I was on the road. I came back from the studio. I think I did it on the road in L.A. And, and were you familiar with Run the Jewels before? No, not at first. And just I, I had started doing like research and we started playing records. And I was like, oh, okay. And I had shit like... Hard, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, shit hard, right? <laughs> yeah, I had like this. I was like, okay, I'm doing it. Let's do it. Let's do it while we out here. And I just did it. Knocked it out. They, on the Run the Jewels too, they had Gangsta Boo on the album uh -huh. talking about sucking all type of dick mm -hmm. and shit. It was a great, great record. Okay. Great, great record. Yeah, they dope. I love it. I mean, you're not, you're not unfamiliar to that type of talk. I mean... No. We were actually going today. Um, <laughs> no, get ready, Fred. Because we were ready. okay. So we were doing some Trina research, okay. right? Because we like, I've, I've never met you before. Okay. Yeah, neither have I. So right. we were like, let's. Right. Okay, first of all, I was like, guys, Trina's half Dominican. I made mean, uh -huh. that. Right. So I was already my yes. Father, my father. I, 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 we could claim her. We could claim her. I'm <laughs> okay. not Dominican, but my, I'm Latina. Well, and so your I claim and her. Your Bahamian <laughs> too. My mom's Bahamian. My mom's family is from the Bahamas. Yeah. So you a Caribbean gal? Yeah, Caribbean. So we and were that's trying where to the big out. ass come from. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> that would be her. So we were trying to figure out, because we were like, yo, I read that, um, you know, that was your first record in 98, right? With, mm -hmm. with Trick. With Trick. How did, okay, so did were you the one that said that oh, she so was dancing I, you first? You were a dancer for Luke, yes. No, 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 no. no. I, and actually, I, I had just did, I knew Luke just from a long time ago, just from being in Miami. I was real, real young, so I was never able to like, cut, like, you know, really listen to Luke music or go out. So he had this little teen disco called the Pack Jam. So it was only for like kids and teens, but it was no alcohol, nothing like that. So we always used to hang out there. And then Luke did a video, a song called It's Your Birthday. Mm -hmm. And I, the, the, the little club thing was like right where his studio was. So they called me in there one day. It was going to the club. It was like an early thing, like 6 to like 11 or whatever. And I had said just my name. Like he have this record. And I, I come in like, Trina, it's your mm -hmm. birthday. Like that was the first time I ever did that. So I was like nervous, but I wasn't thinking about music. How old were you at the time? I was about... 15. The right. teen jam. Yeah, it was a it was yeah, like yeah, a teenage yeah. thing or whatever. And it was like, and I actually came back and did the video. And I was like, if my mom knows she's going to <laughs> kill me. Was your mom super, super strict? No, she's not strict. She's just very, she's she's um she she was just a stern mom. Like she's I, a Dominican mom. Like she's no, Bahamian. Up, no, Bahamian, Bahamian mom. But she's just very, she's very strong. My mom had five sisters, so I came up in a household of all women, independent women, like working women, don't play no mess, don't take no crap from no man, that kind of, you know. That's how. So um, there was, but you there was there a video of you on stage with Luke? Had you ever been on stage? Is no. that a real? That's not a real thing either. No, no, I never been on the stage with Luke. Like never. doing a video. No, 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 no. Before I did after the Luke thing, I did before I did the trick thing. Like I used to go on the road with Trick, like with some dancers and, and like it. dance for like him before I even did the Nan record. Got and like that's how I kind of like knew him. We were so all it was friends. With trick, right. yeah, it was got Trick. It. Never Luke. Okay, got yeah. you. <laughs> so then um, on the record Nan, mm -hmm. I've always wanted to ask. <laughs> this Wait, let me put. I've always wanted to know <laughs> it. When you say fuck about five or six best friends, <laughs> is that your own best friends That's not or the guy's best friend? <laughs> or is this a fantasy that you're putting out? No, it's just it was really like for guys term and like for my friends, like girls, like I like my, some of my friends, they'll have like two boyfriends or like for the guys I was on. I came around like Trick and CEO Trey plus six, Ross, all of them. So these is like guys I know you're like you've messed with her. She's friends with her. They're all friends. We but all know each other. But it wasn't your experience. No, no, not me with five or six best friends. That was just like a term, gotcha. like, but like that. Yeah. And then, also, and then the line, hold on, hold on, that says, uh, okay, hold on. 
that sell more ass than me. <laughs> so were you a madam? Yeah. Or <laughs> were you... <laughs> no, it wasn't. Okay, it wasn't a madam. It was this. That, that, that line was just for like, that was the line for like the girls that's just doing their thing. Like you out here, you doing your thing. Like you in the club, whatever, you getting your paper. Uh-huh. Like you getting paid. That's okay. where that line came but from. But not okay. you. Not me. It's not, it wasn't my <laughs> personal life. It was just Miami. It's raw. It's the strip club. It's loose. Right, right, right. It's Got raunchy. It. It's hardcore. Like this is like street. I, now, I hope this last part is real. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think you say deep throat like me <laughs> and what was it? Get the pussy. No, it says a lick a nut sack like me. Oh. Well, no, I know that's true. You okay. should. I mean, you've had some long relationships, yeah, so I'm sure relationships, you, you, so I've, as you should. I'm grown. I've done that's some right. grown Of course, things. of course. Yeah. Of course yeah. Um, but the no, the licking pussy one. Which? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, deep throat the, and let another straight lick the... Yeah. Ah, yes, so, yes, yes, yes. That's yes. just it. That's Miami. Like, it's, it's all good. Always getting head. Like, that's kind of what that means. Like, but when I say deep throat, like... <laughs> like, you doing your job and she's doing her job. So you've been in that scenario. No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, it says... Say the line again. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> deep throat the... I'm, I'm the only one not cursing, right? Okay. Yeah, you can curse. Okay. It's okay. You can say whatever you want. I'm like saying the clean version. Nah, nah. That's just, that's like, see, that's like, that's hardcore talking. That's Miami. I come from Miami. This is the strip club. This see, is don't the- ruin my fantasy. It's been years. I've been waiting on this moment. You, you wanted my- to know if I was getting my flicked and it was another You girl. was getting your pussy licked and sucking dick at the same time. No, that wasn't my story, Dang, um, Ebro. Hmm. Sorry. Dang. Uh- Sorry. I ruined the whole fantasy. Yeah, it's all it's the it's real though. It's real. Like I, I mean, I'm, this is Luke in I'm, Miami. Of this course. is all you see at a concert. Yeah, yeah, There's, yeah. No, for it sure. Goes I've down. seen it. I've seen so it. when I came up and not being able to be involved, you you just fast and you can't go to the Luke stuff. But you at the you could go to the under you go to the teenage. By the time you grow up, now I'm able to go out to Luke Club. For you got a sure. club Miami. This is all you see. So when I'm doing, I'm talking like in Miami. This is streets. This is how it. I but seen it you're go down. not doing it. No, I didn't. Okay, do it. so you were so young hanging Sweet. out with Trig, right? Wait, hold on. Wait, I want to know some of the. I bet you she's. Wow, well, you some rushing craziness. past my moment, Laura God. Styles. God. It's been since 1998, <laughs> niggas were sitting around like, yes, Trina. <laughs> oh, I hate you. This shit has been you. shattered. This is a oh, moment. No. I don't want to shatter. Shit. I don't want to shatter. I'm fucking rush into the next question. <laughs> this is ladies. Trina you know how to, ladies are covering you years, up. For years. <laughs> for years. Deep throating and licking she pussy. She said, let us go to the next question, please, Eva. <laughs> yeah, I love you, Trina. Thank, thank you so you. much for coming by. Go ahead, Laura Stout. No, like okay. So, just because I remember you telling me that you were hanging out with Trick and Mm-hmm. I just could imagine, oh my God, you were so young. What was some of the craziest shit you saw when you were out on the road with him or dancing with him? Or- um, Trick, I, when I went on, I had went on a tour. I had first, when I did the NAM record, um, um, we went on a tour and like, it's just Trick, it's, it's all guys. I'm like the only girl and it's all these guys. So as guys, this is all you see them doing. This girl, this, it's like so much stuff always happened. I got immune to seeing them so much. I was like, ew. Like, gross stuff. I'm just thinking, like, these women is just would do anything to get around these guys. Right. And I'm just thinking, like, ew, I don't even like them. Like, and I'm around them so much. Like, you know, you get so used to them, you don't even, like, it doesn't even phase you. But I saw some really, 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 I've snuck in a room, hiding in the closet, trying to see them. Like, yeah. Peeping time. Yeah, I was a peeping time. So, but, (laughs) I mean, in your own relationships, you've had some public relationships, right? Kenya Martin, Lil Wayne, Mm -hmm. um, uh, French Montana. Um, I think those are the only ones I know about. Um, But, um, I'm sure, like, you keep men. Men men love you. So I'm sure your own private life is very entertaining as well. Yeah, I'm a good person. You know, I, I think, I think um, for me, I'm a great woman. I think I would say to guys, I haven't really heard nothing bad from them about me. I think just the, the fact that it didn't work out is because I'm not a settler for, like, the foolishness, you know? Right, right, right. Not to, I'm, not, I'm not a basher. Like, I've had great relationships. And as adults and you be mature and stuff don't work out, you just, right. I'm just not the person that, oh, you was a no-good person. I wasn't that. Um, well, we've never heard anything bad. There's ne- there, we've never had anything she's negative not, about you. She's not going for it. See, she I'm just, I just, I just, like, you know, if we're going to do a, in a relationship, being a relationship, um... Like, you treat me great, I'm going to treat you great, and we're going to be great. And then when you start doing stuff that's not great or you're, like, being malicious or sneaking or cheating, I'm just not the girl to sit and stick around for that. I just let you go do your thing, and I'm going to just silently move on and just be out of that situation. Well, um, Lil Wayne was an off and on. Right, wasn't that? No, like a- actually, Little Wayne, we we was in a relationship, a full relationship, um, and we were just young though. Like we well, were really, really young. And what Wayne year was, was younger this? than me. This was like you know, five? 2005 mm-hmm. until like 2007. Mm-hmm. This was a steady relationship, mm-hmm. like, and 
it was just I'm young and he's younger and young and I think we're both immature and and it's not he didn't do nothing wrong he didn't cheat or anything it's just like almost like two kids like trying to be in a career you're real big at the time this is my second album at the time I'm like so busy and we like just didn't work we just yeah. don't know like I'm a like we still kids still trying to figure it out and it just you know insecure when you're young and you a guy you make you everybody like you and you know it just is like just kind of like we weren't mature enough. For the Lil situation. Wayne, um, somebody we was talking before this interview. Somebody in the room, I don't know who was like, I don't understand the Lil Wayne thing. Women love Lil Wayne, yeah, he, and I was like, he must be the nicest, no, most he, attentive person. He's very attentive, but he's a very good person. He's just a good guy. Like yeah. as a guy, when when you know, just for a girl, he's like a person that he's like a teacher. Like he's she's trying to teach you stuff, like how to be and how to do your thing and how to stay on track. Like and how he's to be one, better. Yeah, he's just one. He's a he's a good person. Like he, his mom is like a solid person. So he's like a person that comes from like love and wants that. And like you know, I think he's just a great person. So that's obviously like in relationships where people really really like be a, be be into him. Would you ever have a public relationship again? Um, because we haven't yeah. heard anything since the French Montana no. alleged. I don't even know. if that And we was didn't real even know if that was real or not. Well, it, French and I were friends. Like we were friends, but as my friend and and I wouldn't say. It wasn't a relationship. Like, I was in a relationship with Wayne. That wasn't the mm. same thing as French. French and I were friends. I just felt like French stepped out and did things that was disrespectful to me, and I mm. didn't like it. And I still didn't go crazy and That's blast right, about right. it. I just kept my composure. I felt the way, and I just kept it moving. And, I mean, we was able to, like, get past that. Oh, so that. Y'all, I performed in Miami. That was romantic for a second. Like, it was really no, real. We, it no, wasn't, it wasn't that. It was like, I'm your friend, and I'm around you, and... You around me, we're going to concerts, we're performing, I'm in a studio. Like French and French is French is a very smart person when it comes to like music and biz. Like besides me being in signed to a label with all guys and like my peer is like Rick Ross and there's Trick. Then here's French and like you're a guy that you're doing music. So you I'm in a studio, you were like you're being helpful, like you're mm. making sure I get on track to do what I need to do. And that's what meant it was more to me than not a, it wasn't a sleeping thing. It wasn't a relationship thing. But you're my guy. You're my friend. So be my friend and don't disrespect me or make me look crazy in front of people like we had this relationship and, oh, you you just, like, curved me. Like, that just looked crazy. And I just didn't mm. like that. Like, I'm a respectful person. I'm going to respect you. Handle me the same way. It sounds you like know? y'all not cool right now. No, we are cool. I saw him in, I right. saw him in Miami when it was the Bad Boy Tour. I performed with him in Miami for the Bad Boy Tour. We hugged and not, it was it's all, it's all good. Like, I'm just, mm. I'm not a bitter person. Mm. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on that. How often do guys come back for it, though? Because <laughs> your maintenance, your... Guys you, it, always like, try to come back when they messed up, but I'm just a person, like, I, I'm always forgiving you so I can make sure I don't be the bitter scorn. I'm not a scorn woman. I'm not a grudge holder. I'm not like, oh, you was the worst person. I'm, I'm good. Like, you good. Like, I'm good. Um, But come back, not come back relationship-wise, or come back trying to talk to me again because I'm past that stage. That. Nah. You so you never go back. Nah, mm-hmm. nah, I'm not, I'm not to go back. Yeah, because I'm going to give all when I'm right here. Mm-hmm. Like, no matter what, if you my friend, we going to still be friends after. Right. And as long as you don't cross no line or do nothing that's crazy and disrespect me, we still good. Where's Trina at in her in her life today? Obviously, the new album's on the way. Do we new have a date? Albums. The album is coming out in April. She's looking around. <laughs> like, I'm looking around like, what's the date? Yes, I'm gonna, yeah. yes I, team. I, April, April, April. Okay, April. Um, I'm excited. You know what? I've been in this business for a long time, and this is my sixth album. And I, I, I went through, like, a lot to get to be able to complete the album because I was working on the album for a while, and I was just... I just don't know if I was really ready. I was, like, dealing with situations. I was in the studio, then I would get out of the mood. I was... I didn't know what to feel, and I, I mm. got in the studio with Rico Love, which is a great... Great song, yeah, he's right? A great... He's friend he, of our show. We love yeah, that dude, he, he really revived me to bring me to being able to complete this album. He didn't want to change me. He just wanted to do records with me that was... The more like me evolved and grown and mature and and to speak what I I my life and what I live and what I believe in and that's I I really really could not finish without him so I'm really happy for that and I'm just happy the album is great like Rico's on the album Wayne is on the album um, Two Chains is on the album Tori's on the album I have Plies Lil Boosie I have K Michelle I have mm. Kelly Price so wow. it's a great album it's um, it, I feel so great to me I'm just excited how much um, this first record. I love it, yes. right? I'm, I'm yes. definitely unexpected. The way the production's done, it's a yes. sample. Just yeah. the whole record was unexpected for me. How much of this mirrors the rest of the project? Is that Does it all feel like this vintage hip-hop Trina? It feels good. It feels great because I have them records with Rico. It feels some like old soul, but it's new. You know, the um, record I did with K. Michelle, it's actually a sample, but it's a, it's a dope record. It, it makes me, it reminds me of 
the biggest record I had, which was Here We Go, and it's just featuring Kelly. Um, it's featuring K. Michelle, so that's a whole different vibe. Um, it's just raw. It's unapologetic. It's fun. It's it's just real interesting. It's like it's it's life. It's me. I'm just I'm, I'm happy about it. And you was how long was you working on this project? I've been working on this project for like three years. Wow. On so and off. On I and started. Off. I, I'm on the right track. I got some good records. I like. I did a record with Rico. We put out before. Um, but then I went back and I, I just needed to get to the feeling of why am I doing this? My fans, the people I love, I love what I do. I love performing. I love to do what I do. So this is why I'm back in the studio completing the sixth album. And it's a great feeling. I have this, this motivation, this person that revived. Like Rico is a fan of mine. Like he came to my show and sit and watch. And like that meant a lot to me for somebody to just sit back and be like, you're so dope. You know, and like to get in the studio and to really push it out of me, I, I like... That's what really made this. How much of your process when you're recording um, is you working with other people or you just alone writing your lyrics? Like, how, what is your... How do you go about it? Um, it depends. Like, say, for the Rico part... With the songs I did with Rico on the album, um, I went in the studio with him um, a couple times, and he, he has, like, this team that sits in there, like, pl like plays... I mean, makes records. And um, we just... He just played music. He just played beats and beats and, like, whatever felt good. Like... We, he could see like my like me just like getting into it, and he's like, "That's what you like," and I'm just like, "Okay." And we just so y'all cook it together. And we start right there, like, oh, he'll yes. have an idea. He'll text me like, "Hey, studio tomorrow, I got an idea." Like, what do you think about this? And this one record I did is like this real feel good, like it's a Miami record. It's like it's just one of them kind of records that just I was like, yes, like I, I was so excited. And then like some records, I like somebody will send me something, and if I like it. Mm, I don't know, I maybe like the beat. I may not, I may like if it's a hook or something that's already done, or a singer or somebody on. I'm like, I don't know, I may want to change. So I always have like that input to say if I like. I like better when I'm in the studio though. When I could be in there and, and you know, somebody's in there and you're like playing stuff and we can start from scratch and like get a good vibe out of it. That's like the best for me. Before you before you got here, we were talking about, I don't know when Double XL said this, but they called you the most consistent female rapper. Mm -hmm. Right, and we mm -hmm. were debating. We were we were like, but what about this? Okay, Lauren, no more, and then Foxy gone, and we were, and no disrespect to any of them, but we, I think we, yeah, you I really think they are. Have a good point. It's definitely a up for the argument. I mean, I've been in I, like my first album came out in two thousand. That was the first album, the Baddest Chick album. So I think I just stayed consistent, like in in the industry, like working. Whether it was a mixtape mm -hmm. album, my last album, I, the last album I had was five years ago. So from then, it's like. Just being out all the time, like being right, still right, in. Right. I never stopped performing. I never stopped touring. I'm always working in the States, overseas, out the country. So I think that's the thing. Like, I haven't lost that because I stay in it so mm. much. And you're still visible. People still love seeing you. And you yeah. look great. Thank you. Didn't you. Fall apart out Thank here. you. Thank you. Um, speaking of that, let's talk about maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, because your new song is called... Um, at, is it Damn. At, Damn, but uh -huh. it's like ass like damn, right? <laughs> and it's just the booty. Like, yeah. boom. <laughs> yes. And that's your ass boom. on the artwork. That's not my ass. Either. <laughs> 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 that was an honest question. Yeah, it was. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. It just wasn't my... <laughs> I assumed it was. Everybody's Every asking okay. that question. It was. It was like an image. Creatively, we just came up with this idea. Okay, and then okay. I got a bunch of different sides. But like, you don't oh, feel like any it. obligation to showcase your own as a part of my shit still looks Oh, when popping. you see the video, you'll see it. It's out. It's it. there. I love how you talk about it, too. Like, yeah, it's it. its own it's thing. It's mine. It's insured. <laughs> it's mine. Like, really? Is it yeah. insured? Yeah. Wait, talk to me wow. about that. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> well, I don't... Because the only other person I heard we, who did that was Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, I don't know. I just... It was a while ago. Um, First, second, Glamorous Life album. <laughs> the Glamorous Life album. Before I did the Glamorous Life album, it was this big old thing after I had did the record pull over. Okay. And that was just one of these things, like, everybody was on this whole, like, your ass so fat thing, whatever, whatever. So I just insured it. Mm. And so, which company is, does it? <laughs> like, is this, like, Allstate? Like, <laughs> this is not Allstate insured ass. Like, I don't know. I don't no, know. This is, like, like life insurance. This is, like, life oh, insurance. Yeah. On your, and, like, you, you make it, it's an ass, and you want to make sure it's protected. If, something, if I fail and broke my hip or something, like, it's my ass. It's insured. Wow. wow. Yeah. Like so, that was just so damages yeah. to the booty are covered. Yeah. <laughs> so then you don't even like you don't allow like if you dating somebody, they can't bite on it, they can't smack no, it. No, don't can't do smack it. on my don't I don't do that. Don't whip up and like make me whip all up red marks on the no ass. Marks no marks on the ass. No, no, I'm not into that. So you stop it in the moment. Yeah, like just you, don't, you, you um, don't smack no. That's you're more so you're more of like a slow down caress. No, I like I, I like a I choke. Like, you like a nice little choke. I like <laughs> a little choke, <laughs> a choke a, like grab a little choke. A little yeah. choke is nice yeah. stuff, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, like yeah, 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 I like that. But don't come smacking and scratching up 
the ass, no. Ever in your life. No, no, no. Now, I will say before this interview, <laughs> I didn't know you had nudes. Nudes? I, yeah. What kind of nudes? Oh, them little tit shots? Yeah, it was light work. Yeah. But there was a picture of the box that got out. That was yours. Of mine? Right? Yeah, that was yours. Was right? that real or not? not? Couldn't be. There's no news of my box. It's only a little nude of me. Probably will be a boobs. I yeah. took like selfies in the, in the right, my yeah, phone. Yeah, my yeah. phone was stolen. But so that wasn't your box? No. But well, I was going to say the maintenance was I don't phenomenal. Have no, it, was I don't a, ha- it was a pretty <laughs> box. And, and don't get it wrong. The maintenance is phenomenal. And I do have a very nice box. Really? With a nice little diamond, little tattoo I like to get over when it's get waxed. It's like a little heart thing. Yeah. Well, that's tight. Yeah, but So you do wax? A whole entire body. For real? Yeah. I don't like no hair, nothing of any sort of interesting, whatever. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Do you, um, Wax, any ingrown laser. marks down there in the creases? Okay. Cause you know no the ingrowns, I get no ingrowns, any of that. It's like laser, like everything take what? care of it. You get the vaj- <laughs> Fam, I you got Trina here. Y'all not facial. about to take this moment for Do you me. understand the vajayjay facial? <laughs> I don't a know what you're talking about. facial for the vajayjay. No, yes. You sit over a hot, like it's almost look like a, a toilet thing and you okay. sit over, it's like a steamer and it steams up and it, like takes it like almost like <laughs> opens up the pores, so yeah. It opens the, up the pores, yeah. so you know to that's, avoid that's all that. So that the box could breathe. Yeah, you yeah. make sure it stay yeah. not, like taken yeah. care of. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah. Trina. All yeah. right, Trina. Yeah. So and you squat over this little steamer for how long? Um, it's 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 like a I think it's like twenty five minutes, thirty minutes. Yeah. So wait, so that's a good leg workout. It's like yeah, a, well, you kind of like it's like a little thing you kind of sit on. Oh, you sit and then, but it's look like a, a toilet, but it's not like a foot. You sit your legs just go over this little thing and sit. They hang, and then the water comes up like that, and it just like steams and. When you're dating a guy, do you expect him to have the same kind of manicure and like you want the balls oh, and all that to be nice and right, right? Like, you have to have maintenance, as guys. I don't just the nasty guys all over the place, the smelly must. I'm not into that. Like you need to like. Clean it up like a woman. Trim Nails, up. feet, everything. Make sure. Keep not too right. much hair. All that hair is just annoying. It's not. I'm not into that. And you're in a relationship or single today? I'm happy. <laughs> so that means you got a nice little rotation. You got a nice little stable. Maybe She's a, involved. You got a movie guy. You got like no, a dinner no, no. guy. One you got a guy. sex guy. Only one guy for okay. me. I'm not the girl that likes different guys. I like one guy. I like to build with one person. That's why I don't settle. If you step out and do something crazy, you could have that. Because I'm not into, that. not into that. I'll just swerve and go the other way. Is this a happy situation currently? Is this on the path to greater things? It has to be because I'm not looking for anything less. Like, I mean, solid, happy. You know, I want to get married. Oh, okay. I want to like, I, I want that go. life. You know. How many babies you want? Hmm. I mean, my 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 mind says two. I like it. But I mean, I I have to see what the first process is. You know, right. I've been like to some. My friends have babies. It's not a good process. No, it's rough. It scared me to even want to have a baby. Like More than physical or everything else that comes with it? Just the the whole scene, the whole yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. If you need help, holla at me. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> not, not, no, I don't want to impregnate you, but I'm just saying, help. like, as far as the okay. the pregnancy and birthing process okay. and the post, I, I he did He delivered good, his yeah. own daughter. Delivered did my you? Own daughter. Yeah, I was yeah. there. I'm in it. Oh, wow. I'm in it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> in the bathroom, just me and Is it what is the water birth? Um, no, no, no. It okay. was it would just happen. Like we was on our way to the hospital. Things got speedy, and the, oh, phew, I had to do what you I had cut to do. The, the th- well, no, no, no. We didn't oh, go that okay. far. My daughter came out. I put her on the boob. Okay. Right. I wasn't. We not pushing the placenta out. I didn't oh, do none so of that. You didn't I was get like, to the hospital. <laughs> finish yeah, the I called nine one one. Like, hey, okay. hey, everybody, hang on a second. I need a professional. Okay. Okay. I need a I'm professional. Like, oh, right. you yeah. are good. Okay. But I ended up once the ambulance came, we cut the umbilical cord, and you know, got to the hospital. Were you nervous? I was fucking terrified. I of know. Course. I, oh my gosh! Okay. But what you gonna do? It's happening. You have to. You have to step up. And what you gonna do? And and luckily, I had been to the classes. So okay. So you were you prepared. Know, yeah, my daughter's mom and I. We was rocking. You we have one just, kid. Just one. Okay, yeah, I was gonna one. say. Okay, so the second, would you do it again? Um, I definitely would consider doing a home birth again. Yeah. Only because, um, look, man, people been having babies for thousands of years. Uh-huh. We make it really complicated, uh-huh. and things can go sideways. Okay. But in the pregnancy process, you know if you're healthy enough to do certain things got in it. the process. Got it, got and, it. And you should ask those questions. And the hospital could be stressful on the mom okay. and everyone because when they bring you in there, they hovering on you and they okay. talking to you about pain and pumping you uh, full of drugs and asking yeah. you all type of questions and but see, you know, I wanna, you're in the hospital. I want to make sure if anything goes wrong, they have the proper equipment well, they and have they know midwives, what to do. They have midwives you know? and things for that and okay. they have things that can do a home birth now to bring the stress level down because then you in your crib, you can play the music, you got, got people it. around you that you <laughs> love, like it. Mm. you ain't got people just rushing, you know, because in the hospital, it's a lot. they can rush you through it Yeah, because they got 20 other people having babies at the same time. Sometimes Ooh. you need that custom well, that's care. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's so it that's freaks my advice. Oh, You're my not alone. Goodness. Now I got you too. though. But you that's good. great though. You that's it. I mean? <laughs> See, mo that's something most men have never done that before. But I'm there for you. I'm there for you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Uh, her name is Trina. She's the baddest chick. I want you uh, to much success on this Thank album, you. man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Everyone loves you. Thank you. Um, the booty's insured, guys. So no marks. <laughs> no marks. How do you maintain it though? Do you work out? Are you a workout person? I'm not even a workout person, honestly. Really? Mm -mm. I really don't like to work. I like to do outside workout more. I'm not a gym person. I hate okay. the gym, but I like like um I like I like yoga. I like that hot yoga. That's oh good. yeah, that's serious. Um, I like outside. I like outside running, walking, just for cardio. But I'm not a workout craze person at all. I just I kind of eat like I eat seafood a lot. I don't really eat a lot of other stuff mm. like that. So you're a pescatarian. Yeah, I love fish is my favorite thing. I mean, seafood, seafood, seafood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish, if you lobster. was if you was to grade your ass from <laughs> from being young to today, from mm -hmm. nine, let's just say ninety eight to twenty seventeen, mm -hmm. would you say that it's maintained? Oh, it's definitely. it's buoyancy, it's lift. Yeah, it's lift. It's nice. It's firm. It's tight. It looks great. Like when I'm looking in the mirror, I'm like, damn, this is nice ass. It stayed. It's like right. It's not she sloppy. It's great droop. It's no dense. It's like you know. So no cellulite. No, not my ass. I have no say like. But on the back nice of the time. leg, you got a little something. I think I got one or two right here, probably. Yeah, maybe. But all women know. do. Girls hate you. Right all now. women does though. Yeah, I don't no, it's normal. All women have it's that. Normal. Like that's a woman's thing. I don't I know. Like yeah. I like it. I like a soft little, little thing. I like. <laughs> little kind of, you know, you I like, like a couple that? of dimples. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a stretch mark here and there. I lick that. Uh, most women have that. I mean, that. even if you work out, some of my friends work out all the time, and my friend complains about this one or two cellulites. I'm like, girl, your body is so banging, yeah. but she still don't like that one little thing. But I mean, you know, it's it's good. As long as you just maintain the upkept of the body. Like, you know, do your crunches, make sure the body stay tight, don't be too soggy and loose, and you know. Do you have an opinion on a lot of these fake bodies and plastic surgery out here? Because, you know, nowadays, you know, somebody with your body type might have went and got the, the implants on the boobs or something like that, because you got the... You got the little one. You got the B cups. Yeah. I yeah. Got, how you know it's a B? It's 34B. That's the size. I mean, you know. See? I've been around for a while. <laughs> um, You know what? Honestly, I don't. Because I, realistically, I was always like a little insecure about my, my boobs. I always thought mm, I wanted to get a boob job. Because I my friends got nice big boobs. And then I'm just too scary. I was like, mm, I don't know. Because I'm not the one that's going to go back 10 years for the maintenance to get it done mm. over. Because I'm going to go one switch. time and I just want to stay. If it can't, I'm not going to try to... That thing starts sag, you gotta mm. get it again. I don't wanna go under and under. So I'm just, I'm, I'm, this is what God gave me. Guess what? These little boobs gonna have to work. Amen. You know, this big butt is good. It's nice. I'm not, I'm not, no knocking nobody to get whatever they need done. Cause some of my friends, you know, if they have babies or whatever, their boobs look a little funny. So they go get them to be nice. Right, it right, looks right. beautiful. There's right. nothing wrong with that. Um, to each his own, you know, whatever works for you is works for you. <sighs> Trina. Love yeah. you. She's awesome. You're amazing. <laughs> and you smell great. Thank you. Shout out to the dude that's dating you right now. She don't want to talk about it, so <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out later. Introduce this record for the people, the new song. Let's go. Hey, y'all. This is Trina. This is my new record featuring Tory Lanez called Damn.